Hi, my name is Josef Lohmann. I'm a software developer here at Blitz and we have something very exciting that we've been working on here at the labs. Uh, we've been working and playing with uh, Connect and we see that you know we run into a problem where everything that has to be done with Connect is in C++. And the problem with that is that we can't. it's difficult to build rich UIs in C++ and the applications. So our solution was if we set up a socket server that C++ can connect to, anybody can register and receive that information. So that's actually what we've done today. We have a flash demo that reads that information and we're going to show you some cool visual stuff. Hope you enjoy. All right, now let's get started. First we have to do is install the connect drivers. Um, the best place to do that is Dan Ivanov's blog. He walks you step by step on installing the drivers, making sure they work. Um, you can get them at the GitHub, and then once you have the drivers installed, you can see them in the device manager after plugging in the connect. Um, just go, go to open NI night and night and uh, install everything you need over there. So once you have the connect installed, you should go to program files. You should have a folder prime sense, night samples, and then you can run any one of these just to make sure that you're actually getting information from the Xbox. Um, so what we can do over here is we can modify any one of these to talk with our server. Now let's get up that let's get set up with the server. First what we need to do is have Sigwin installed in order to run Node.js. Um, best place to do that is um, is on Node Wiki and you can see over here step by step on getting started with Node.js with Sigwin and um, you know just make sure you have all the make files necessary because uh, there's uh, not everything listed over here make sure you got everything um, now once you have Sigwin installed head on over to Node.js and and check out some other samples over here we took the basic one over here and modified it just a little bit so that way it's you know sending off the information on an interval as opposed to uh, only when the data is written. So that way we have information on every frame. Um, you can check out the simple server that we have written in JS. Uh, uh, you, you can see it's modified just a little bit. Um, so this is really cool because what we can do is we can have C++, you know, from any one of the samples sending information straight to Node.js and then attach any listener that we want to that, you know, for example, Flash or Silverlight or HTML or Unity or any other technology that you want. So what we've done, actually, we've, we've taken the single control, you can see it over here, and we've written connection to the socket server, and then once we have the connection running, we can start sending information over there. So let's, run, let's fire up Sigwin. There we go. And let's run our server. Okay, now we have it running. Let's fire up connect. All right, so we can see that we're connected to the socket server and it's ready for the focus gesture to start sending out information. So we have a, a simple uh, flash output to see information coming in and out of the, the server. So let's fire that up, and we can see that it's connected to the server, We're getting a lot of traces. Let's perform the focus gesture. And there we go. Here we have Connect spitting out the information, and Flash is reading everything we need to know. We have the X, Y, Z coordinates of the hand, and we can do whatever we'd like with that. So now let's check out the visual demo. Then here we have our Flash demo. Let's see it in action. There we go, got our hand recognized. You can see it's tracking real nice over here. And since this is not, all the processing isn't done in Flash, Flash has all processing available to do whatever we need it for. We can do a click by pressing in. Not that one, let's check out the good juice. Nice, there you go. And the information is so sensitive and so accurate that we can do just a tap to get that going. So that's the demo. We hope you enjoyed.